Hi, I'm Erica, and welcome to my channel, Dizzy Knits and Curls, where I create a vintage-inspired, goth-adjacent, comfy wardrobe and the beauty looks that go with it. So today, I'm gonna to be talking about the new Pattern Emporium Walk Boldly Wide Leg Pants Pattern. I was a tester for this, and I made three different versions during testing, and I decided to make a fourth version and do a sew along with you guys. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I will give you a sneak peek of the pants we're making. It's got pockets. So this pattern came with, it's a wide leg pant. It's fitted at the waist, fitted at the hip, fitted through the bum, and then spreads out to quite a full flare. Um, Big wide leg pants. Um, anyway, it has two different rises. So you can make it as a mid rise or a high rise. I did the high rise here. You can put optional elastic in the waist. Um, it has back darts and it also has several different pockets. These are the round jean style pockets. The other three pairs I made did not have pockets because I typically don't wear pockets, but these were cute, so I thought I'd give them a try, and they're a lot easier than I thought they would be, so I take you through that as well. So without any further ado, let's get to the sew along. Before we get started, I thought I would show you the pants I'm wearing today. These are the first pair of walk bold lace I made, and they're in cotton lycra. I'll stand up on a chair and show you. So, there we go. They are the high waist, I did put a little bit of elastic in the waist. They've got the darts on the bum, so they fit really nicely. And this is a four-way stretch cotton lycra. And I love these. These are total lounge pants vibes, and I love them. But today's pair are going to be a little bit more truly dressy. And I wanted to take you guys through the experience of making those. So let's get started on that. Okay, so these are the front of my pants, and it is a four-way stretch Liverpool, very stretchy in the horizontal direction, about 25% stretch in the vertical. One of the things that I need to do, because I'm making the version with pockets, is I need to take this pocket piece, there's my pocket piece, and I need to create the shape for the pocket opening. And we cut that actually into the fabric. So for the center front, for the front, this is the side of the pants. This is the crotch. So I'm going to lay this pattern piece over, lining it up. And then I'm just going to cut off. this bit. So now I've prepared the front of my pant for a pocket. All right, so I got my pattern piece down on the wrong side of my pants and I am going to just put pins in where my dart stops and I'm going to mark the top with some chalk. And then get that out of the way. And I'm going to draw my dart fully in with chalk. And that way it's nice and clear when I'm sewing it in. This is a yellow chalk pen from Madame Sew. I love these little chalk rollers. Just awesome and very easy to see.
All right, let's take on those pockets. Um, the crotch is over here. The top pocket opening shape is here on the pants front. So I need to grab my pocket pieces. So um, with right sides together, align pocket opening on pocket with pocket opening on the pant. All right. Right sides together. I wish I hadn't used such a dark fabric, but here we are. So here's my pocket opening, laying down perfectly with my pants. I'm gonna pen those guys together. And then I'm gonna go and overlock or straight stitch to join that together. So I'm going to sew that together and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the next step is opened it out. Here is the pants, here's the pocket. So we want to stitch the overlocked seam down towards the pocket. Straight stitch. I'm going to change my presser foot. I've got this really handy dandy presser foot that is um, a quilting foot actually that has the seam allowances. You can kind of dial in your seam allowance. And I use that a lot. But for this, I want to just use my regular foot. I'm going to very carefully sew the seam allowance down in an understitch. And my sewing machine is being a little funky. One moment. I think we're gonna make our stitch a little bigger, like a three. And this will not show outside the pan. press that and then we will look at the next step. Now we're going to sew the pants front to the pants back at the side seams and the inseam. And I'm going to use my overlocker for this. So I'm just lining up the side of my pants and I'm going to sew that down. Catching the pocket in the side seam. All right, I've got that done. I'm gonna do the end seam, then I'll carry on with the other side. All right, so now I have half a pair of pants and I can do the other side and then we'll connect them together at the crotch. You got a big moon shape, you. Make sure everything's tucked inside and then you're just gonna sew around the crotch seam. And again, all these directions are in the pattern explained better than I can explain them. But it's fun to show you guys a little sew on here. Okay, so now we have pants. Turn everything the right way out. <laughs> ah, we've got pants. 
We've got pants with pockets and darts. So I am going to sew on my waistband, hem these, and uh, I will show you guys when they're all done. But thank you very much for hanging out with me and sewing today. And I'll see you in a little bit with finished pants.